When entrepreneur Shep Mafumdikwa set up Zimbabwe's first hand-rolled cigar business, he named it after the world-famous Victoria Falls. The local name, Mosio Atunya, meaning the smoke that thunders. For Mafundikwa, who returned to Zimbabwe in 2019 after 15 years in the United States, it's a signal of intent to take on the big names of the well-established export market. We have a solid interest right now from uh, uh, Romania and from Vietnam, and we've got uh, inquiries from Dubai. So for me and, and the team, we want our brand on the international market as soon as possible. As well as being famed for its economic troubles, annual inflation hit over 785% in May, Zimbabwe's tobacco is also renowned. It's exported mainly to China and Europe where it's used as flavouring by global cigarette makers. For Mathum Dikwa, that was the starting point. I thought there was something unique that could be done here. And that's how the idea and the dream was born. He recruited Elias Lopez, who's worked for cigar makers Arturo Fuente and Davidoff to train an all-woman team in the art of rolling cigars by hand. The 52-year-old from the Dominican Republic claims these cigars will compete with the best in the world, such as Habanos and Monte Cristo from Cuba. But for the time being, the competition is a little closer to home. Bongani Cigars, launched last year in another Southern African nation, Mozambique, is also seeking to crack the luxury cigar market. <laughs> as well as export, Mafundikwa wants to develop a cigar market locally by making affordable brands. In Harare, where Mosio Atunya is based, Ryan Dudzo is sharing some of the cigars with friends over bottles of wine. In traditionally, I'm just a, a secret smoker. I decided to take this on a trial basis and I'm surprisingly enjoying it. The, it is this flavour within it that I don't get from my, my normal cigarettes. What do you think? What, what's going on? So in Zimbabwe at least, it seems the smoke that thunders has gone down a storm.